Hello students, in this video we are going to solve one more example on the special case of direct central impact that is impact with a body of very large mass. So let us read the statement. A simple pendulum as shown in figure is released from rest when it was in the horizontal position OA and falls in vertical plane under the influence of gravity. If it strikes a vertical wall at B and coefficient of restitution E is equal to 1 by 2, find the angle phi defining its total rebound. So this pendulum is initially in horizontal position. So it is released from rest from the position O A means the velocity of the pendulum at this position is 0. Now it is falling in a vertical plane under the influence of gravity and it strikes the wall at B. Right? So the impact is taking place at B. Initially, the pendulum is possessing potential energy. Right? When it is at rest. Now before it strikes with the wall, that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. And the pendulum is striking the wall towards right. So I am saying that as u1 velocity of pendulum before impact. So after impact the pendulum will bounce back. Means the direction of velocity of the pendulum after impact is now towards left. Say magnitude is v1. Right. Now it bounces back and swings through an angle phi. So you have to find out the angle phi defining its total rebound. Is it clear? So immediately after impact, the velocity of pendulum is v1. Then after swinging maximum angle phi, the velocity becomes 0 over here again. Right? So before impact, first if you consider before impact equating the potential energy of the ball at of the pendulum at position A to the kinetic energy of the pendulum at position B. So it is mgh here h is equal to the length of the pendulum that is n is equal to kinetic energy is half m u1 square right so u1 is the velocity of the pendulum before impact so this gives you u1 is equal to square root of root 2 g l so it is the velocity of the pendulum before impact but what is the direction it is towards right now after impact So after impact, immediately the pendulum will possess kinetic energy. Then after swinging the maximum angle phi, that velocity becomes zero, means that is converted into potential energy. So the kinetic energy is half m v1 square now. V1 is the velocity of pendulum after impact is equal to for potential energy. So you have to see the vertical rise of the pendulum through a height h. See length of the pendulum is L. So this is angle phi. So the adjacent side. So this will be L cos phi. So now what is h? h is equal to total it is L minus L cos phi. So it is L into 1 minus cos phi. Right? So after impact, the pendulum is rising through a vertical height h given by L into 1 minus cos phi. <coughs> so what is the potential energy at this position of the pendulum? It is mgh. H is equal to L into 1 minus cos phi. So 
so this m gets cancelled so here you have v1 is equal to square root of 2 g l into 1 minus cos phi but what is the direction of velocity v1 it is towards left before impact velocity is towards right after impact velocity is towards left now what is the coefficient of restitution formula for impact with a body of large mass e is equal to minus s v1 upon u1 it is v2 minus v1 upon u1 minus u2 here v2 is 0 u2 is 0 right so it is minus v1 upon u1 so e is equal to minus v1 see here we will take towards right positive the sign convention towards left negative so here v1 is towards left so it is to be taken negative so minus of minus root 2gl into 1 minus cos phi upon u1 that is root 2gl so this gives you e is equal to square root of 1 minus cos phi this root 2gl gets cancelled so it is the formula for coefficient of restitution for impact of the pendulum with the ball here what is phi it is the angle of rebounds right so in our statement it is said that coefficient of restitution is 1 by 2 that is half half is equal to square root of 1 minus cos phi so solving for the angle phi you get phi is equal to 41.41 degrees so it is the angle of rebounds so simply you have to remember this formula coefficient of restitution is equal to square root of 1 minus cos phi where phi is the angle of rebounds understood thank you